Hey guys, welcome to Layla Teachers. Today we'll speak about the metabolism of eicosanoids. Eicosanoids include prostaglandins, thromboxanes, leukotrienes, etc. They reflect their origin from polyunsaturated fatty acids with 20 carbons, known as arachidonic acid. Um, they elicit a wide range of responses, both physiological inflammatory responses and pathologic hypersensitivity. They also act locally rather than after transport in the blood to distant sites as occurs with true hormones such as insulin. The dietary precursor of the prostaglandins is the essential fatty acid linoleic acid. It is desaturated and elongated to arachidonic acid, the immediate precursor of the predominant class of prostaglandins glandins in humans. Arachidonic acid is incorporated into the membrane-bound phospholipids and it is released by phospholipase A2. The first step in prostaglandin synthesis is the oxidative cyclization of free arachidonic acid to yield PGH2 by prostaglandin endoperoxide synthase, PGH synthase. This enzyme is an endoplasmic reticular membrane-bound protein that has two catalytic activities. One, fatty acid cyclooxygenase, which is known as COX, which requires two molecules of oxygen and peroxidase, which is dependent on reduced glutathione. Two isoenzymes, usually denoted as COX-1 and COX-2 of PGH synthase, are known. COX-1 is made constitutively in most tissues and is required for maintenance of healthy gastric tissue, renal homeostasis, and platelet aggregation. COX-2 is inducible in a limited number of tissues in response to products of activated immune and inflammatory cells. Cortisol, a steroidal anti-inflammatory agent, inhibits phospholipase A2 activity. This stops the whole process. Aspirin, intermethacin, and phenylbutazone are all non-steroidal anti-inflammatory agents, known as NSAIDs. They inhibit both COX-1 and COX-2 and thus prevent the synthesis of the parent um, prostaglandin PGH2. 5-liboxygenase converts arachidonic acid to 5-hydroxy-6, 8, 11, 14 eicosatetraenoic acid. Don't worry, you can just remember it as 5-HBETE. Now, this 5-HBETE is converted to a series of leukotrienes. And leukotrienes are mediators of allergic response and inflammation. Their synthesis is not affected by NSAIDs. Here you can see the 5 levoxygenase pathway going into 5-HBET and leukotrienes. Now, uh, thromboxane A2, uh, TXA2, is produced by COX-1 in activated platelets. It promotes adherence and aggregation of circulating platelets and contraction of vascular smooth muscle, thus promoting formation of blood clots. Prostacyclin, PGI2, is produced by COX-2 in vascular endothelial cells. It inhibits platelet aggregation and stimulates vasodilation, so it impedes thrombo. Genesis. Okay, guys, that is it for this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye.